If you clip this video thinking it's a signature edition of Razer Viper Mini, then you're not supposed to be in internet with that stupidity. But if you're here for the regular Viper Mini, then you've come to the best and right spot. Razer Viper Mini. It's pretty small, I mean average, just like your dick. Which makes it perfect for claw grippers but bad for fingertip, palm, crab, backbone, snail, ball, fist, clamp, point, and spider-man grip. It's also very light, just like your dick. Like around 61 grams or if you're a weirdo, palimbo, cochino who uses imperial system, then it's 0.134482 pounds. Yeah. Use metric, you bimbo. It has 5 dpi levels from 400 up to 6400 dpi, which doesn't really matter unless you're a spawn of Satan who changes dpi mid game. It's also very slender, just like your. That is also ambidextrous, which sounds like a scientific name for an Alaskan bullworm, but it actually means it's perfect for any hand types, whether you're right handed or a chaotic hell spawn with left handism. And the most important thing, it has RGB lights. Now, where do we begin? Pros or cons? Let's spin the wheel. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Pros, gotta start with good things first and then the pros ourselves later. So pros, it is very light, just like your... Okay, I'll stop. So it is very light, which is easier for aiming and maneuvering as well as quicker, which is definitely a pro unless you like holding heavy ones just like the way you hold my... Okay, I'll stop. It also has sensitive clicks, which for the most part is a pro because you click milliseconds faster than most mice on paper. It might be unnoticeable, but once you experience it, it is a major advantage. The scroll wheel, at least in my opinion, is perfectly balanced between individuality and rolling. Now, you might be wondering what the fuck am I talking about since I made those terms up, but basically there's a balance between the separation of each scroll and the continuous smooth roll when you're scrolling, allowing you to control what you want to do to the scroll. A lot of people may not agree with this, but fuck them, it's my experience, not theirs, but it really feels like wireless. The wire never really fucked my it also has a calibration system on the Razer program which pays your RAM, CPU, and GPU for Bitcoin mining in exchange for better mouse experience. Okay, I could be joking but there were actually no problems for me with the Razer Synapse. Lastly, it's fairly cheap for a well-performing mouse, especially if you consider me living in a third world country where the average job like a teacher gets paid like $200 per month, so if you only eat one egg for every two meals while being a teacher, you can spend one fourth of your salary to get a Viper Mini. Okay, did you get your hopes up? Well, time to get to press because we're going down with cons. First issue, which is that most times a pro, but sometimes a con, which is sensitive clicks. Sometimes I'm completely destroying an enemy and boom, ADS and tanks fuck up. This won't be a problem in CS, but Virgin Valorant has to be with ADS in the game. But maybe it's just a skill issue because I always fat finger, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean plus sized finger the right click. Eh, no, 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 no. Definitely not a skill issue, it's the, it's the mouse, I swear. Also, the lift off of this mouse is pure dog shit. It's like you lift at 3 meters and it's still detecting shit. So if you're someone who lifts their mouse very softly when readjusting like a total psycho, then good luck with that. Some say just put a half tape over it, but I'm too lazy to do it and I only have a double-sided tape, which somehow tells me it's a bad idea. According to some people, it also has shitty wire, like it's rigid for a couple of inches, but for me, it didn't really matter, so it's not that big of a deal. Also, there's no white version of it, which sounds racist, but hear me out. My whole setup is white and I think a black setup is very generic for gaming, so I want mine to pop out. Overall, this mouse is pretty poggy woggies. it's really good, but bear in mind that I'm also comparing this to my old mouse, which is a budget Walmart Borderlands style looking odd generic gaming mouse. The design, since I did it, is pretty poggy but it had some issues. It wasn't as fast as this, like there's a clear difference when you get to experience them both. Also, the response time is also higher than the Viper Mini, which is a major disadvantage to most games. It's also defective, wherein when you quick swipe left, it does a damn your girl so fine but her breath is like whoa I like better from the old mouse is the shape or size at first since my pinky and thumb strains when gripping the Viper Mini initially but then I get used to it. Also requires me to wear this wrist brace to prevent my wrist from straining. Oh yeah and also the design because I made that shit into a massive work of art. God like even. So yeah overall Razer Viper Mini pretty dope. I give it like 64 Gilei Razors out of 2 Atheris Hispida or for idiots Spiny Bush Vipers. 